Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jeff and Angie Photography. So today we are still in our series for discovering the power of Luminar. So stay tuned so we can jump back in. All right, so welcome back. We are going to do part six today. And today we are going to open up the color tool and we're gonna explore everything that has to do with color. All right, so welcome back. We are still in the series of the power of Luminar Neo. Today it's part six and we're gonna explore color. So let's jump into Neo and get started. But before we do that, I hope that y'all are learning a lot from this. If so, leave me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing, where I can improve, or what you'd like to see next, maybe. Anyways, let's jump on over to Neo and let's explore this deer and play with colors and see how crazy we can make him look. All right, so we've got Neo open. Let's see here. All right, so we got the color tab open and we're gonna play around with the adjustments. The first section, when you open up color, you've got these three options here. You got saturation, vibrance, and color cast. So the difference between saturation and vibrance. Saturation slider, when you adjust it, it adjusts all the colors in your photo. So it's taking all the colors out or it's intensifying all of the colors. And vibrance only intensifies the muted colors and it ignores the well-saturated colors. So it kind of helps you achieve a, a better overall look without making it go all wacko in color like saturation does. So when you put vibrance all the way to 100, you only get a little bit of red, the green's a little brighter, but when you take saturation all the way up, it really, really overpowers the picture. So then let's move down to color cast. Color, ca color cast remover. This slider automatically removes the undesirable color cast in your images by detecting and adjusting the hue. I usually don't use this because I don't let my computer decide what colors are undesirable, but it does a pretty good job. It actually is taking away the yellow and I don't like the yellow or orange in my pictures, but that's on this image. All right, so let's jump on into the next drop down menu, which is HSL. HSL stands for Hue, Saturation, and Luminous. And each one of those, let's go ahead and break it down. So you got your hue, and hue refers to as the color as you see it. And by moving the slider to the right, you're gonna shift it towards this color. So let's go ahead and take yellow, for example, since it seems to be the prominent color in this image. So by switching yellow all the way to the right, it really makes those greens really pop, but it also makes the rest of the image really yellow. And then if we take it and we slide it all the way to the other end, we're going more towards orange. So that's hue. So let's jump on over to saturation. And saturation describes the intensity of the color. You can add color by moving the slider to the right, or you can take it away by moving it to the left. So in this one, we'll use yellow still. So by moving the slider all the way to the left, we are removing all of the yellow and moving it all the way to the right we're intensifying the yellow so 
let's jump on over to Luminous. And Luminous is basically the brightness level of a specific color. The left of the slider being the darker side and the right side being the lighter. So we'll still stick with yellow. And yellow, we're going to move it all the way there to the right and it's definitely brighter and you move it all the way to the left and it definitely mutes it out. So that is your colors. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring my bell and share and all that good stuff. And don't forget that um, below in the description, I've got all the links to my future workshops, my discount codes for NEO. I have 15% um, off and I also have 14 day free trial if you'd like to try it out for 14 days. And after 14 days, if you decide you like it, use the AB15 code and you get 15% off. All right, so talk to you in the next episode. It will be part seven, so stay tuned.